so easy for the flesh to arise. There's many different lusts of the flesh. Every single day we have to pick up our cross to follow Jesus and not let ourselves slip up at all. Satan and every single one of his demons at this point in particular are working overtime to destroy the children of God to pull every single person he possibly can to his side because he knows his time is short. However the devil can distract you, he will. Whether that's through impure sexuality, you know, sex outside of marriage, impure thoughts, blasphemous thoughts that come into your mind, laziness, lukewarmness, hatred, whatever the thoughts are that come into your mind, or just the things that you see. You have to choose to rebuke it if it's evil, rebuke Satan in Jesus' name, or receive it if it's of the Holy Spirit. And most of the time when you're going throughout your day in the world, because this is Satan's world, you're going to come into contact with more demons than you're ever going to see things for the Holy Spirit. How many times are you going to see things that are perverted as you drive down the road or as you go through your business, through your workplace? How many times are you going to see things that are for Satan's kingdom versus seeing things for God's kingdom? You may go throughout your whole day and not see anything that's for Jesus. But if we do fix our eyes on the kingdom of God, we will see the work of the Holy Spirit in everything. Not that the Holy Spirit is working through the devil, but we will see spiritually that he's working through our heart. But we need to be very prudent to make sure that we're picking up our cross and not letting ourselves slip and fall into any perversions of the world, any lusts of the flesh. We can't let our flesh arise. Otherwise, if we let ourselves slip up, then it's a slippery slope all the way back down into the world and sin ultimately leads to death. Will we stay firm on that firm rock, that firm foundation of Jesus Christ and continue to push forward with him? Or will we, or will we let ourselves slip up and fall back into the world and be destroyed by all of those satanic things of this world? those temptations, those demons.